Now that we know BYD's electric pickup truck or ute, unfortunately, isn't coming next year. Apparently, it sounds like it's coming in 2025. That means the first electric pickup truck is, well, it's already here in Australia right now. Yes, it's ridiculously expensive. To be honest, it's not very good. It's got exposed wires. It's an internal combustion version of a pickup truck. But hang on a minute, because the new version will be completely, completely different. If it's what the company says it is, that it may in fact be the best electric pickup truck, possibly even rivaling the Cybertruck for its level of integration, range, power, and its features. It's um, truly staggering if you're to believe the company's claims, which we'll discuss in a minute. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. For those of you living in Australia, I'll be speaking at the EV show, biggest EV show ever in Australian history. Without a question, it's going to be the biggest. We've already seen the sales tickets numbers. It's bigger than the previous show we're at, Fully Charged in Sydney. So it'll be a big show. I'll be there on the Saturday, 23rd of September. Come to the show and I'd love to meet you. 1 p.m. I'll be speaking on Saturday. LDV, they already sell a pickup truck, a ute, an electric ute here in Australia. It's about 93,000 Australian dollars. It's around about 60,000 US dollars. doesn't sound expensive, but it's about as big as a Toyota Hilux or a Ford Ranger, very similar size. But it's basically an internal combustion vehicle has been converted into an electric ute, an electric pickup truck. And um, it's, yeah, I've seen them in person. I've had a, look, a good look at it. It's, it's not very good. The range is pretty poor. Range, probably real world, 250 kilometers. For that price, it's, it's just not, not a vehicle you'd even consider buying. Most people agree with me on that. And, and to be honest, I, I know why they made it. They made it primarily for fleet buyers, for mines. The mines, you need electric vehicles in a mine because with electric vehicles, you can completely change how the mine works. Imagine you're working in a mine, right? And there's not enough air filtration. You're breathing in those diesel fumes. It's horrendously bad for you. So mining companies know this. They don't want to have to pay for all the cancer costs that's going to cost in the future. So basically, rather than having enormous extraction fans trying and hoping and wishing they can get rid of all the poison being pumped into everyone's lungs, you just take electric trucks into mines and they work in that capacity. Even if they're really expensive, the mines are go like, well, okay, it's better than the alternatives. So we'll do it. Now it's good for a mine. Is it good for you to buy one? No, I wouldn't buy one unless you're absolutely just crazy about getting an electric pickup truck because the new version is completely different. It's a ground up EV. It will have at least probably more than double the range. It will have about five times more power. It's ballistic. It's got four motors. It's got a mid gate. It's got everything I dream of in a pickup truck. <laughs> It sounds crazy, but I absolutely love it. Anyway, parent company, who are they? Sake Motor is the parent company, one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world. Do they make good cars? Yes and no. Some of them are great. Some of them are not so great. Depends on the model. MG4, I think, is a really good car for the price, especially. Of course, MG is owned by Sake. Who else? Who owns Sake? Chinese government and Alibaba. Now, keep in mind that... Audi just bought Sake EV platform from them, or the Volkswagen Group bought it for Audi, and Audi will use their EV platform in China to make EVs that will go to many countries around the world, not just to China. So they think Sake makes decent EVs. However, what do we know? What are the actual specifications? Is it worth you buying this? Because this is very likely to be the first electric pickup truck, electric ute coming to New Zealand, coming to Thailand, coming to Australia, coming to right-hand drive car markets, Southeast Asia. Is it going to be good? Well, yeah, it is. It's quite a bit better than the Geely or the Radar RD6, which may come as well. Early this year, Sake actually revealed a quad motor concept 4x4 ute called the GST at the Shanghai Motor Show. And I should point out that they don't have a good history of delivering concepts. Now, they have delivered concepts. MG Cybersta was a concept. It looks exactly the same in the real world. That's amazing. However, LDV's other ute, uh, which they revealed several years ago, it was meant to be the um, new version. It, it came to Australia and it looks nothing like the concept. Uh, well, it does a little bit, 
There was a, a bull demon, a bull demon version, which everyone wanted. Everyone thought that looked amazing. And there was a new interior. We only got the bull demon and we didn't get the bull in new interior. And to be honest, the Ute is, it's okay, um, but it's had quite a few problems. A lot of those problems are pointed out on forums and I've actually uh, experienced some of those issues in person. I know someone quite well yeah, who has one of their new electric, new, one of their new internal combustion pickup trucks. They seem to do electrification though much better than internal combustion. This new Ute will have 746 kilowatt. That's 1,000 horsepower, making it possibly the most powerful Ute or pickup truck in the history of mankind. Yeah, I said it. I don't know of anything that's going to be more powerful. We don't know Tesla Cybertruck feet st stats yet. They were removed from the Tesla website. So until we find out whether or not the Tesla Cybertruck Plaid version or the quad motor version, what its power numbers are, uh, then this is the most powerful that we know of ever. Zero to 100 time, three seconds flat. This thing would be utterly ballistic. I think it would be a bit scary. Torque, 14,000 Newton meters. Now that 14,000 Newton meters, it's not a real figure. It's a way that manufacturers are kind of giving us these initial torque figures, but then when they bring up the official figure, when they the, the vehicle gets released, it's always quite a bit lower than that. It's a, a strange way that they measure it. But anyway, it'll have a lot of torque. I'm gonna guess it'll probably have maybe maybe 1,500 Newton meters of torque in the real world, but either way, a hell of a lot more torque than any internal combustion engine vehicle in the world, including those big 6.7 liter diesel Cummins V6 engines that come out in pickup trucks in the US. Those have a lot of torque, but this will have even more than those. So when is it coming? Well, LDV general manager said that it will come in the second half of next year, meaning it'll be the first electric pickup truck you'll get to buy. Question is, should you buy one? Well, to be honest, LDV's track record isn't really that good when it comes to aftermarket issues, but it does seem like Sage makes some pretty compelling electric cars. So that could change. Maybe this will be actually really, really good. As for the looks, well, I personally think this looks pretty good, but we don't know for yet for sure if the actual production version will look like this. If it does, well, I'd be happy with that. I think it looks quite nice. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think of the looks. So what are some of the features it'll have? Well, it's gonna have much better off-road performance, they say, than internal combustion pickup trucks or utes, which is a big thing because about 50% of buyers, they say, who buy a ute actually try to modify it for you know all drive tires or all-terrain tires, I should say. They do all kinds of things to the suspension, etc. But apparently this will have the ability to do a tank turn, it will have much better four wheel drive capability, uh, fine controllability at crawling speeds, plus another cool feature, 11 kilowatt of vehicle to load functionality to power 240 volt appliances direct from the vehicle's battery. Now, assuming it comes with a very big battery pack because it will have to, um, thanks to the fact that it's gonna have 1000 kilometers of range with a semi-solid state battery, that would mean you could power a lot of stuff without really doing any major damage to that battery pack. It'd be amazing for camping. Now, speaking of the range, I don't believe this semi-solid state battery is really going to be an option that is going to come in this car. I mean, this Ute, they're saying it is, but I believe it's more likely they'll be using the Kieran battery from CATL rather than the We Lion semi-solid state battery because they pretty much have similar energy density. Sake does use CATL batteries, just wouldn't make a lot of sense for it to come with a semi-solid state battery. Probably more like a real world range of about 650 kilometers using Sake's new, using CATL's new batteries. Do we know the, feet, the details of those batteries yet? No, we don't, but we should very soon. And once we find out that information, I'll actually be able to tell you the, the chemistry of those batteries and whether or not which model you should consider, or even if you should consider them at all. LDV say that pricing and specs will be released in 2024. And like I said, this vehicle will come to market, they say in the second half of next year, making it the first proper electric pickup truck or ute in right-hand drive markets worldwide. That's really good news because what will happen is this will sell really well. There will be nothing else. And by the sounds of it, the specifications are very, very impressive. I don't doubt that these specifications are possible. People will say, well, hey, this thing is awesome. 
even though, yeah, LDV, not the greatest track record like I spoke of before, we're going to give this EV a shot. And you know what? I'd love to get one and test it for you guys and let you know my feedback on it. But either way, a lot of people will be doing this. It'll sell really well. Other competitors will go, whoa, 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 whoa. Look how well that's selling because Thailand, Australia, New Zealand, people love utes. They love pickup trucks. Best-selling cars, one and two in those countries most of the year are pickup trucks. Imagine how well something like this could sell, especially with those insane performance numbers. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.